Hair Wig Lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Obsession Wig by Ellen Villa in the color Champagne Rooted. This is a really pretty long wig. Now it's not as long on me as it is on the model in the product pictures and I think part of that is just because I'm 5'8", you know, and I've got a slightly larger frame. So this does not look like super long Glamazon hair, but it is very pretty very nice density, beautiful subtle layering here at the bottom, so as you can probably tell with me playing with it. Really beautiful the way that it lays, particularly here in the front. You know, I, I find this way more flattering than something that's got layering that starts up here and then goes all the way down. That doesn't always look great on every face shape. I think this gives a really nice frame to the face while being very sleek and very natural looking. The hair density is very natural on this in spite of how long it is. And it has a really well made cap. Here, let me show you this lace front. So you can see tiny, tiny, there's the top of this one. And then here's that color. Now this is not an ash blonde. This is basically a medium champagne blonde and a champagne blonde is not an ash blonde. It is more like a beige blonde. So that is pretty much exactly what you get here is a medium beige blonde. So rule of thumb with Ellen Villa rooted colors is that the rooting is going to be about a shade darker than the base color. So in this case, instead of it being a medium blonde, it's a light brown. Very subtle rooting on this color. It's really luscious. Now, you may have to eventually tone this wig. You know, maybe put a little toner in your shampoo or something because um, this wig, you know, it started off as, you know, it starts off as sort of like, you know, Asian hair, and then it's color processed to look like this. So at some point, you know, you may start to realize as you're washing it that it's getting a little bit warmer, and then just slap some more toner on it, and that should neutralize the color for you. Um, the hair, in spite of how much it's been color processed, feels great. Um, it doesn't feel like virgin hair at all, but it does have a very beautiful denier, moves really well, um, and like I said, in spite of how chemically treated it is, it feels really nice. Um, and since this one looks really awesome as a straight wig, you know, if you straight iron it every once in a while with a little bit of heat treat protectant from John Renault or something like that, you'll seal in those cuticles, which, you know, because this is Remy, they're intact, and that way it'll stay this nice and silky. You know, just make sure you condition it every once in a while. Let me go ahead and do a 360 so you can see how beautiful Obsession is from all sides. And then we'll talk some more about like the cap and some specs. This is beautiful. And I really like this color. Now again, it's not an ashy blonde. So if you're looking for, you know, a true platinum, this is not even close because it's a medium blonde and it's beige. But it's a beautiful beige blonde. Very beautiful wig. Feels great. Could you see how pretty it moved? Here, let me show you from the back one more time. It moves great. Uh, again, the front is super flattering, very well cut, and this is right out of the box. I have not styled this wig, I have not washed this wig, I have not even brushed this wig. She came right out of the box looking just like this, which is pretty fabulous. Very natural hair density, you definitely don't get the bump it in the back, and as you wear it, it'll get even more natural as those hairs start to pivot on their axis as you train that monofilament. Really luscious. Let's talk some specs, shall we? So this is a 5.6 ounce wig. The front is 15 inches, 
very long first layer. As I said, that's really flattering um, and very subtle, which is great. The layering all starts like down here. Um, the crown down is also 15 inches. The sides are 16 inches. The nape is 16 and the overall length from the crown to the bottom is about 24 inches. That makes this one a boob hugger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's very pretty. The, the cap is not nearly as stretchy as the one on their Emotion wig though. So if you're part of the big-headed tribe like I am, you know, my cap circumference is 23 and a half inches. So, you know, I'm firmly in the average large category. So, you know, if you have a big head, you may have to um, alter the cap of this one to get it to fit you securely because it's definitely riding up a little bit in the back on me just because my head's so big. But this fits true to average, so it will fit basically everyone else beautifully. If you have a true petite head, you'll have to bring those stays in as much as you possibly can, but they go in quite a bit. This almost fits petite average. So you should be in good shape if you bring the stays in all the way in the back. So speaking of which, let me go ahead and take this one off so you can see what the cap construction looks like. So Obsession has a very beautiful contoured lace front, the lighter of the two tones in this wig is up on the front hairline so those knots are virtually invisible. We also have a really nice monofilament top. The lace features are very soft on this one, by the way. Uh, very nice little bands of polyurethane built into the cap. That's to help with grip. There's also a little bit of that over here on the side. This is to aid with grip and you can put adhesive there if you like. The cap is made of a stretch mesh that it does look like we have a handful of reinforcement tracks in the back at the nape, but it's not that bad. You only get a little bit of them. You can see back there, so the rest of it's hand tied. Um, we have a very nice extended nape that has not only the felt, but it also has a little bit of that um, polyurethane in it. And then here is the reason why this wig isn't stretching quite as much. There's not as much elastic in the cap as there is on the Emotion. But that elastic is covered by a nice amount of that uh, mesh material and that is to prevent it from stretching out too much when it comes in contact with makeup or sweat. This is a great wig. It's beautiful. The hair is really nice, especially considering how, how light the color is and how much they color processed it. I mean the ends are nice. It's just really nice. And here's the top of it again. I'm going to go ahead and put Obsession back on for you now. That's very snug on me as I mentioned. Coverage on the sides is all right. Pretty good for a wig that is a little too small for me. That's really saying something that, you know, it has such good coverage still. And there you go. This is Obsession by Ellen Villa. She's fantastic. This is the Champagne Ruta color, which is also fantastic, especially if you're in the market for a medium beige blonde combination with a light brown root. Really pretty. So I'm Heather, I'm from sisterwigs.com, that's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, that way you don't miss any of our reviews or color spotlights or anything else that we've got going on around here. And until next time, I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.